Hello, my name is Jonathan. Good to have you here on our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that for some more inspirational messages and live shows during the weeks. So please do that and please join me. I want to give you an understanding today of why the gifts of the Spirit is so vitally important to building up the body of Christ. You see, sometimes we focus on, on the gifts of the Spirit in the wrong ma matter. We're thinking about that, my God, somebody special is being used by God and he or she has the gifts of the Spirit. That's the first thing we do wrong sometimes. We, we think that it's a medal for, for, for a long service or someone's been good enough to receive the, the gifts of the Spirit. But the focus is not the person. The focus is the goal, another person. The gifts of the Spirit wants to come through every believer, no matter if you've been a believer a long time or a short time. He wants to come through you. To each one of us is the Spirit given and manifested. And the Spirit chooses to give whatever gift and whatever graces He wants through every believer. I want to stress that point first and foremost. But I also want to tell you that sometimes we're thinking about healing, we're thinking about prophecy, we're thinking about, you know, helping individuals in certain kind of areas. But I want to bring you another understanding when it comes to the gifts of the Spirit. And it is that the gifts of the Spirit is the vehicle for the love of the Father. It's a vehicle for the love of God to reach another individual and to build that person up. Because the Bible says that the love of God builds up. And I really want you to step into the experience Expectancy, because then you understand all of a sudden that it's, it's, it's not just graces upon me to, 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 to give to somebody else, but it's more than that. It's the love of Father to be coming through the gifts of the Spirit, reaching somebody in a form of a healing, in a form of a word of encouragement, in a form of giving someone a bright future, in, in, in the form of someone receiving a word of, of comfort. The gifts of the Spirit is the vehicle of the love of the Father. When you understand that, the gifts of the Spirit is not somewhere far off, but all of a sudden you understand that God wants to come through you with His love and touch somebody else. Sometimes we, um, we mix, you know, and I can see this also, we have, we have that understanding when it comes to the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love. The love that comes from Jesus Christ through the branch and then comes the fruit of love in John chapter 15. We understand that. We understand that the love of God wants, needs, wants to come through us and touch people. And it's uh, by long suffering, it's by bringing peace, it's about having faith. It's about, you know, all those things that Galatians 3 chapter 5 <laughs> in Galatians uh, talks about when it talks about the, the the fruit of the Spirit. But if you translate that over to the gifts of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, it's very natural understanding that we, we understand that, that, that the love of God wants to come through us. But it's the same thing with the gifts of the Spirit. The love of God wants to come through the graces that God gives through every individual and you're included. Now, would you pray with me right now to receive Maybe a baptism for the first time, or maybe you want want to be filled with the Spirit and start uh, having these experiences when the grace of God comes through you and you haven't had that experience. Just, just lift up your hands, if you will, or just receive, open your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, you're the baptizer. You're, you're the one that baptizes in fire and in love. And I thank you for giving people a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit right now. I thank you that every grace would come out of each one of us watching right now as a vehicle for your love 
to reach people around us. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. My God, I'm feeling God all over this place right now. <laughs> Wonderful. Good to have you here. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and get notified when we are live and when we're posting new inspirational messages and short teachings like this. God bless you. Have a good day in Jesus' name.